Hello, welcome to my presentation of our recent work. RegRug, a toolkit for situated analytics. This was a collaborative effort between Amy Sousa Calypso and Michael Sedlmeier from the University of Stuttgart, Sebastian Hohenschmidt from the University of Konstanz, and Dieter Schmalstick and me, Philipp Fleck, from the Graz University of Technology. RegRug is used to easily create uh, situated applications, like you can see here, in our basement at the University in Graz, where sensors are read out in real time and visualizations are presented. But after all, where is situated analytics placed? So immersive analytics gives us a visualization and an immersive medium. But in contrast, situated analytics needs grounding in reality, for example, to interact with real objects. The traditional visualization pipeline, like in desktop use cases, only uh, takes place in the virtual world and the user does his interactions in the real world, as you can see on the right side. The role of reference is a very important one when it comes to situated analytics. We have to extend the traditional rendering pipeline to have objects in the real world. Reference establish physical context and allow to interact like in any other Ubicomp scenario. They can be either active or passive, like sensors or just simple things like images. The virtual the physical virtual model represents the world where situated analytics takes place. It was also mentioned in works of Milgram and Chalenta, like mirror worlds and amount of world knowledge. So there are certain questions to ask. For example, how many references are in the world? And this is built to the digital twin of the world. Research challenges in immersive analytics open a number of questions. If we start on the right side, for example, how can we deliver visualizations into augmented or virtual reality? Or how do we create visual encodings for such representations? How can we make visualizations context aware? And how can we create a comprehensive physical virtual model? Also, how are those visualizations reactive to the world? So these are all very interesting and important questions and with RegRug we try to answer most of them. So coming back to our first question, how do we deliver visualizations? We use standard approaches like the Unity game engines to create basic augmented reality experiences. Therefore we use certain toolkits like OpenVR or the Mixed Reality Toolkit. Also, we get collaborative features that we can easily add to Unity. So, to follow up with the next question, how do we create visualizations? We do not reinvent the wheel. In this case, we use IATK, the Immersive Analytics Toolkit from Cordale, uh, which uses a Vega-style grammar and it can be authored in Unity using C Sharp or the Editor API. It has built-in interactions for axis and brushing and overview and detail. So this is part of our uh, application as you can see on the right hand side. So looking at it from the other side, how, how can we make it context aware? So coming from the IoT world, uh, software like Node-RED is used to orchestrate and to pipe data from sensors to other sources. Uh, usually the concept is data flow authoring like visual programming. This comes from the design patterns like pipes and filters. And we can also create nodes that hold custom code. Therefore, Node-RED, as I said, 
is an open source framework and it's based on JavaScript and Node.js. Uh, besides that, it allows the connection of a, a hierarchy of different uh, sources like databases, APIs, and whatever the IoT and web world offers. For communication, we use a publish-subscribe framework called MQTT, which allows a loosely coupling of any sort of clients. How do we make visualizations reactive to the world? So, the visualization has to interact with data. Therefore, we extend our IDK to reactive programming. Uh, with Node-RED, we enable the data flows that can be piped um, through the sensors. Uh, we have to add JavaScript support to Unity so that we can hot load any code at runtime that is depending on the kind of sensors that we have to access, in this case also reference. So the main uh, issue was to create a uniform programming language that can be run either on the server side where Node-RED lives or on a device like the HoloLens. Therefore we created an interpreter for the Node-RED flows that are executed on the HoloLens. So we can connect the data flow and we create a uniform programming model. However, following the visualization from our first slide. This is what we see here. We see visualizations that are created with a node red flow. This is the red lines on the bottom. We see some JSON configuration file that defines the physically virtual model here in orange. And we, show, we see some external JavaScript code held in light blue. Additionally, an external visualization tool like Grafana can be used to load directly external graphs into the client application, here shown in green. That's for now. Thank you for your attention and please check out our toolkit RegRug on GitHub. I am happy to answer any question. Thank you.